Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man, back with an obscure view of Hostile Takeover. Hostile Takeover, also known as The Devastator, is a lost-on-VHS horror film in the U.S. The tape was released by IVE, or International Video Entertainment, Inc. You can tell it was released in the age when cover art sold the film, because check this out. Amazing. This is definitely an obscurity, having never been released on disc in the U.S. Also, no one ever talks about it. Based on the novel Office Party by Michael A. Gilbert, Hostile Takeover was directed by George Mahalka. He's probably most famously known for directing the 1981 slasher film My Bloody Valentine. The late David Warner plays a man named Eugene, who wakes up on the Saturday morning after Thanksgiving and heads to work like a normal day. Obviously, with it being set on the weekend of Thanksgiving... I thought this would be the perfect pick for an obscure view this week. He and three of his co-workers are going into the office for some overtime. There's the beautiful young Sally, played by Kate Vernon. The older woman Joan, who, despite her age, is a spitfire. And their boss, Larry, played by Michael Ironside. Sally questions why Eugene has brought a suitcase with him to work. But soon enough... She'll find out. Inside are chains, guns, and whatever else Eugene needs for his hostile takeover. He locks the doors, trapping everyone inside, and then chains them to their chairs. Now, with three hostages, the cops are involved. But here's the thing. Eugene has no demands. He's doing what he's doing because it's different from what he's done. Eugene is usually a sweet, almost timid sort of guy. Those who know him even say he wouldn't hurt a fly. He even keeps repeating he doesn't want to harm anyone. He tells them all the takeover will be over when the circle is complete. Other than Eugene, no one knows what that means. Inside the office, the four employees will get to know each other more than they ever expected. Meanwhile, outside the building, the police department turns on each other, with the mayor breathing down their necks. This is an office party to which no one RSVP'd. And Eugene is the devastator in this hostile takeover. This was a really interesting watch, because you truly have no idea where it's going. I know I didn't. David Warner, as Eugene, comes across as a mostly likable character, despite his moments of rage. Those are few and far between, though, and usually instigated by someone else. Michael Ironside as Larry does the best job at instigating him. They are both fantastic in their roles. As a matter of fact, both of the women are fantastic as well. Kate Vernon as Sally is super hot in this and she gives us some gratuitous nudity. Let's just say she understands the situation she's in, and she knows how to play the game, and play it well. It was interesting seeing a little bit of backstory about each of the characters trapped inside the office, including Eugene. I like that they don't go too deep with it, though. With the exception of the opening scene, which features Eugene leaving his house, the entire film is set inside the office and outside the office building. It makes it feel as if we as the viewers are being held hostage with the characters. I love the mystery elements of not knowing why Eugene is doing what he's doing. Typically, in a hostage situation, the person holding everyone hostage has demands. But Eugene doesn't. That's definitely what hooked me in. And it hooks you in fast, too. I'd say within the first 10 minutes, he's already holding everyone hostage. There is no 20 to 30 minutes of character development that you might get in other movies like this. All of that comes later. I very much enjoyed the pacing. It starts out fast, slows down for a bit, gets exciting again. 
It's back and forth. It works, though, because that's how a scenario like this would play out. I liked seeing the nudity from Kate Vernon that I mentioned earlier. And Hostile Takeover has an ending that I think some would love and others might hate. This was definitely a unique viewing experience, and I can sort of understand why it's an obscurity. That's not to say that it's not good, because I really liked it. But I think it would be hard to market this film. I'd say it's definitely a horror film, but it's on the cusp of the genre. This is more of a psychological, character-driven story with that mystery element of why it's all happening. I'm happy to have this one in my collection, and to be able to review it for you. Have you seen Hostile Takeover? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.